Well, hello, Pray and Share Warriors. It's been a day or two, but I am back today. I had a busy weekend, and I was not here at 7 o'clock for two nights in a row. Um, but I'm back tonight. Ooh, I have music. I thought I didn't have this phone in here, and I go, oh, where's my music? Oh, but I don't have my... I don't have my earbuds in here. I gotta use these old ones, which work, but I don't really like. Okay, so tonight, sorry, I'm not very prepared and sorry I'm late, but I nearly didn't do this tonight, but I felt compelled to share with you what God has been sharing with me today. So God told me this morning to rest in Him. He said, rest in me. And so that's what I want to talk about, is resting in Him. Um, I don't mean sleeping. I mean not worrying, not... Like, my mind is a planner, and so my mind is planning things all the time. And just to be in the moment, just to rest in God and let Him take care of those future details. He can do it a lot better than we can. Sometimes we think that we can, but we can't. I had to change um, ink cartridges a while ago because I didn't have, I had no ink, which I thought was really weird because usually a printer will, it'll just get lighter and lighter and lighter, but it just like nothing would come out. I tried to print twice and nothing came out. But I put the new cartridge in there and it was wonderful. It came out wonderfully well. Added me some new songs on here, and uh, I'm looking forward to listening to them. So I hope you've had an awesome Sunday. My day was uh, awesome. I have rested a lot today. I have rested a lot. I spent my whole drive to church, thanking God for various things. If I found myself thinking about future things and making plans, then I would just stop myself and I'd go, no, I'm going to be in the moment. I'm going to thank God for all the things that I see, for all the things that are going on. Even little things like, it's not raining very hard, God. Thank you that it's not raining very hard. Okay. So let's jump into some prayer. I feel like I'm so far away. I brought my old chair in here, and I like it because I can lean back when I work, but I don't know. I'm used to that other one now. I'll have to get used to this one again. My cat's kind of torn up the sides of it, but I have a blanket over it so it doesn't look so terribly bad. Okay, well, let's pray. Um... I hope that God is speaking to you about resting in Him. So maybe this message is for you. It was for me today. Maybe it's for you too. Maybe you have a lot of things going on in your mind and God just wants you to rest. He just wants you to trust Him and rest in Him. I'm listening to you rest on us. I love this song about the Holy Spirit. Oh, love it. Okay, well, let's pray. God, thank you. Thank you that you do invite us to rest in you. That you don't want us to worry, God. That you don't want us to be constantly thinking about things that may or may not even be. That you just want us to rest in the present and just rest in you. And just trust you with everything that we have, God. Thank you that you are our creator, you are our sustainer, you are our provider, you are our shelter in the storm, God. You are our strength. You are our healer, God. You are the great Jehovah. You are the great I am. You are from everlasting to everlasting. You are mighty and powerful and magnificent, God. You are the righteous judge. 
but yet you are loving and compassionate and kind and forgiving and faithful and your love never ends God and nothing can separate us from your love we just want to rest in you God we just want to rest in you thank you for loving us God we love you with our whole heart our soul our mind and our strength and we pray for the lost God we just pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they could be saved we also pray for the prodigals God we pray for them to see where they are and to realize what a wonderful relationship that they once had with you God and for them to return for them to repent and return God we just also pray for Israel God we just pray for the Israelis and for the Palestinians God we pray for peace for them we pray that you would heal the ones that have been injured God we pray for the families that have lost loved ones we pray for peace comfort and strength for them God we pray that you would meet these people and that maybe through this war they would be drawn to you God they would be drawn to salvation we pray for all the people that have lost loved ones God we just pray for peace comfort and strength for them and that you they would feel your presence in the absence of their loved one and just that you would wrap your arms around them and in Jesus name we pray amen so I love this song, Rest on Us, about the Holy Spirit. I absolutely love it. So, this is kind of the verse that made me think about this. Is um, This is my daily verse. Come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And that's Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. So that's kind of how I started thinking about rest. Did I read the other one? In Okay. Anyway, so that's kind of how I started thinking about rest. And just the more I thought about it, the more of these songs came to mind. And so I am going to read to you um, the song that I shared this morning uh, by Carrie Job. I absolutely love this song and um, I love this album that she has all these great songs on and so I uh, wrote I love this song and message by Carrie Job she is at the top of my favorite she is one of my favorites I just love oh oh bless her heart my daughter has been at the airport all day. I need to be careful. Sorry. We have to tend to our kids. Oops. Sorry about that. Let me get this off of here. Okay. Okay, so um, I love her new album and I love the lyrics of this song. My words today rest in me. I am really trying to do this, live in the moment, but I find myself wandering off into the future. In details, I need to figure out, but God keeps telling me rest in me. And so that's what he kept telling me. I got all these, got all these messages that popped up. Um, this is quite a challenge. I don't know about y'all, but it is quite a challenge for my brain sometimes just to like let go of all the thoughts that I'm having and to just rest. It's really hard. Um, my body, my mind needs to just rest in Him. Do you feel like I do today? Uh, let's rest in Him today. Let's Let's let him order our steps today and relax in his presence. This is my daily verse today. 
Come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. I just showed you that. Um, my music is circling the drain. We can bring all of our burdens to him. All we have to do is come to him. He loves deeply and constantly. His love never changes. Come as you are today. And I, I think that's where people miss salvation, is that they think they have to clean their lives up. But you don't. You can come as you are. And just come as you are with your sin. That's how Jesus wants you to come. Uh, call upon the name of Jesus and be saved. Um... Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish. John 3, 16, 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. Okay, so that's what I wrote this morning. My music has decided just to like. This older phone sometimes does not do very well. Okay, so that is what I wrote today, and um, let's get into some scripture. We already read Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28, which was kind of like a um, focal verse for today, and the one I was focusing on. So let's go to Exodus uh, 33. I did pull up some scriptures. Let's see what Exodus 33, 33, 14 has to say. Uh, I'm going to start with 12. And this is Moses. And Moses said unto the Lord, See thou sayest unto me, Bring up this people, and thou hast not let me know whom thou wilt send with me. Yet thou hast said, I know thee by name, and thou hast also found grace in my sight. Now therefore I pray thee, if I have found grace in thy sight, show me now thy way, that I may know thee, and that I may find grace in thy sight. And consider that this nation is thy people. And he said, My presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. And he said unto me, If thy presence go not with thee, carry us not up thence. So God told Moses, you know, Moses, Moses was not perfect. Moses had faith, but he tried to get out of this assignment a lot of times, just like we do. You know, we go, oh God, I am not equipped for that, God. Uh, could you choose someone else? Well, Moses tried to do that a lot. But he was faithful and he was obedient. But this is kind of like him bargaining with God. You know, my presence shall go with thee and I will give thee rest. So he wanted Moses just to trust him and to do what he was asking him to do. But Moses was like, well, who, who will go with me? You know, I don't think that, I think that Moses was uh, probably afraid of Pharaoh. He knew, he knew who Pharaoh was. He grew up with him. He knew exactly who Pharaoh was. So, uh, but God just wanted him to trust him. And a lot of times that is where we are too. God just wants us to trust him. God doesn't want us to worry about the details. God doesn't want us to figure out the details. He wants to lay them before us. He wants to lay out the details. He wants to order our steps every day. You know, when I pray, God, order my steps today, my days, just everything falls into place. But the days that I try to order my steps, I don't do too good. I don't do too good. Okay. So, I'm not ever going to get to hear this song that I put on here. 
by Phil Wickham. It's Phil Wickham's new song. Okay, so Matthew eleven twenty nine. We didn't read that. Matthew eleven twenty nine. It says read uh, Matthew 28 through 30. So we'll read that. Because we might miss some things that we need. Okay. Come unto me, all ye that, are, that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So we are to take his yoke. We are to be yoked with Jesus. Do you know what a yoke is? Do you like oxen and yokes? They have to they have to move together. I mean they can't like one can't go, hey, I'm going left, you go right. That doesn't work because they're so close together that they have to move in tandem with each other. And that is how we are supposed to move in tandem with Jesus. We are supposed to move with Him. And He will give us rest. We can lay all things at the foot of His cross, and He will take care of them. He will take care of our things. He cares about our little things, our medium things, and our big things. Okay, so let's see what this is. Okay, let's read Isaiah 30, 15. That looks pretty good. I think that's going with what God wanted to God wanted the message to be tonight. I wanted music. Maybe I'm not meant to have music tonight because it's just not working out. Okay, Isaiah 30, 15. For thus saith the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, in returning and rest shall ye be saved, in quietness and in confidence shall be your strength, and ye would not. So, in quietness. You know, I'm thinking that's trusting and in confidence, being, having confidence in God. That that is our strength. That we, we rely on God fully and we trust Him. And we quit trying to work out things in our minds. We just rest. We just rest in Him. That doesn't mean that we stay in our chair all day like I have today and rested. But I was tired. That means that we just don't have to worry about the things that are on our minds. We need to just rest. We need to just take a deep breath and just turn it all over to God and let Him take care of it. So we need to just rest in Him. So Psalms 37, 7 these are all good scriptures that are on this list. You know, sometimes they just don't fit very well. And sometimes they do. But like I said, I get a whole list of scriptures and I just have to put one word in. Okay, so Psalms 37, 7. Uh, 37, 7. I think I'm going to read 1 through 7. Fret not thyselves self because of evil doers neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb trust in the lord and do good 
so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the, of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger, and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evil doers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. So I read through nine, one through nine. But that's so good because we do. We need to rest in the Lord. We need to wait patiently for him to work out all the details of our future, not for us to, you know, plan in our minds these things for him to put it into place. And... Um, And so we don't need to worry about the people that are prospering, that are not following God. We need to know that there will be a day of reckoning. There will be a day where the righteous judge will judge all unrighteousness. And unlike some of our court systems in this country and all over the world, this righteous judge cannot be bought, he cannot be compromised, and he cannot be threatened. And his judgment will be swift. So that is why we need to continually be um, repenting of our sins. Because we don't want to be stuck in our sin. Okay. Um, Okay, I don't know which one of these. Maybe I'll read these last two. Isaiah 40, 28 through 31. It seems like I'm just uh, flipping back and forth between Isaiah and Psalms. Um, Isaiah 40, 28 through 31. Oh, my friend Josie was here. I should have said something to her. I'm sorry, Josie, come back. Okay. Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might he increaseth strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So our strength comes from the Lord. You know, even the youth shall faint and be weary. I'll tell you what, I am weary sometimes because I just don't have the amount of energy that I once had but I'm trying to get it back I'm taking multivitamins I'm trying to get back what I once had like just two years ago like not very long ago just two years ago I felt pretty good I'm trying to get this song going but it's like I think it's gonna take a miracle from God I guess I can restart this phone. I've had to... That's why I bought a new phone, the one that I use, is because this one got to where I was having to restart it all the time to keep my internet going. And it made me angry. Okay. So Psalms 4, 8 says this. Let's just read all of Psalms 4. <clears throat> Hear me when I call, O God... Of my righteousness thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress have mercy <clears throat> excuse me 
I need some water. The straw is like all crimped over. That's not very cold. Somebody needs to clean my desk off tomorrow. I'm kind of in the middle of something. Okay. Uh, Psalm 4, 8 says, oh, we're going to read 1 through 8. O ye sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity and seek after leasing? But know that the Lord hath set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed. And be still, Selah. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, Who will show us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. So, we can rest in God. He's got this thing. He has got, you know what? He has the whole world in his hands. Like, the entire world. All seven to eight billion people. God sees. God hears. God knows them intimately. He knows their hearts. He knows whether... They belong to Jesus, whether Jesus is their Savior or not. He knows whether they do not even believe in Him. He knows. He knows who is going to come to Jesus and be saved and who's not. But the thing is, we don't know that. We don't know who is going to come to Jesus and be saved. And that is why God calls us to share His truths and to share the gospel of Jesus. And so I'm going to share the gospel of Jesus. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. But I think I'm through with scripture. Right here. Put that over in that pile. Let me get my notebook. I'll read... while I was taking notes rest in me rest in me Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28 I felt like that's what God was telling me today yesterday was Christ be magnified but I'm not going to read that to you I'm just going to read today's good morning God good morning child I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings child new opportunities to share my truths in the gospel of Jesus a new beautiful day, child. A new day to rest in me also since I cleared your schedule. And he did. He cleared my schedule for today. I was so happy. Okay. I said, thank you, God, for a new day of mercies and blessings, new opportunities to share your truths and the gospel of Jesus. A new beautiful day, God. Thank you for a day of rest and a clear schedule for your use and he said child just rest in me today do not bother with the things of the world focus on me and the message I need to share with others child find rest in me today and every day going forward keep moving forward with Jesus and sharing my truths and the gospel of Jesus keep walking in the spirit your service this weekend made me smile and it was something that your child did not have to worry about. Just rest, child. Just rest in me. Let me be your focus today. And do not focus on the, what the future holds. I will work all details out. Just be willing to go, child, and share this important information with others. Learn to be willing to do what is needed. And I said, okay, God, I will rest in you and let you work out the future. Forgive me, let me focus to, on today and not the future details. Those belong to you. 
Thank you for meeting me today. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give my mama and daddy a hug, God. I love you too, my child. Now go be obedient to me today. Celebrate your young adults that are flying their nest today. Encourage them to follow Jesus as they go. The reunion is soon, child, so be ready at all times. Be thankful for where you have been called. Child, be thankful to be ready to go in an instant, child. Be thankful and be ready to go in an instant. The reunion will be so beautiful, child. Many here are eager to reunite here in this paradise of perfection. And that would be heaven. And I said, Maranatha, God, because I'm ready for the reunion. I love people here. But if I see Jesus in the clouds, I'm out of here. I am flying out of here. And many people that I love and care about, they'll be flying out of here too. <sighs> because this world is just constantly getting more and more corrupt all the time. All the time. Okay, let's see. How do we want to share the gospel? We used the bracelet the other day. I kind of like this. I kind of am stuck on this. I think it's so cool. <laughs> I think it's so cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. I don't have it memorized though, so I have to read it. Okay. So. I pray that someone gets saved. I pray that someone accepts Jesus as their Savior. That's why I get on here. That's one of the main things that I want to do here is every time I'm on here, I want to offer a salvation message. Um, and this is another E3 resource. It's not mine. Okay, our sin separates us from God. The light... On the right, oh, all right, it's not on the right, it's on the, yeah, it is on the right. I don't know if it's on the right for you. Anyway, the light, the light represents God. The light represents God. God is perfect, holy, and loving, and has provided a way for salvation. In contrast, the man in darkness represents man in his sin, separated from God. Sin is more than wrong thoughts or actions, but a heart that is inclined towards evil. That's what Jeremiah 17, 9 says. The Bible says all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3, 23. Apart from God's grace, man is without hope. Okay, so Jesus paid the debt for our sin. So this is Jesus on the cross. Oh, where did Jesus go? Where's Jesus on the cross? I'm going to cover up these other things because it's not time for those yet. Okay, Jesus paid the debt for our sin. The cross is a picture of God's grace. God sent his own son, Jesus, to earth as man. Jesus died on the cross for us so that he might take away our sins. 1 John 3, 5. The Bible says God demonstrates his own love for us. In this, while we were yet still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8. Jesus took away our sin in his own body on the cross so that he could bring us to God. 1 Peter 2, 24 and 3, 18. The Bible says, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.16 There is nothing we can do on our own to pay the penalty for our sin. If we could, then God would not have sent his Son to die for us. Only the blood of Jesus, oh sorry, only the blood of Jesus 
can wash away our sin. Okay, so Jesus died on the cross. So we got that part done. So we'll uncover this part. After Jesus died, men buried him in a tomb sealed with a huge stone and guarded by soldiers. Jesus is risen. So this, this is Jesus in the tomb with the stone in front. And this is Jesus risen. Three days later, God raised Jesus from the dead, declaring that he truly is the Son of God and that God ha was satisfied with his payment for sin. Jesus then appeared to many people before returning to his Father in heaven. So the next picture is... Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the only way to heaven. Jesus is the only way to salvation. The only way we can come to God through faith in Jesus Christ. Jesus is the way. The only way we can come to God is through faith in Jesus Christ. Only Jesus has paid the penalty God demand, demands for our sin. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father God except through me. John 14:6. But just knowing these facts does not ensure salvation. We must respond to God's grace by trusting in Jesus Christ alone as the only one who can forgive our sin and give us God's gift of eternal life. Okay, my little thing is not opening the way it's supposed to. Okay, there we are. So, let's see. There we are. Okay, so we have the little, we have the hand of Jesus and the hand of us. Trust only in Jesus. The penalty of for sin is eternal separation from God, but Jesus offers you the free gift of eternal life with God. We need to accept this gift God offers. The way we demonstrate our faith in Jesus Christ is by trusting in Him alone for complete payment of our sin. The Bible says that our sin is removed through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe, Romans 3.22. Are you trusting in Jesus for your salvation? Uh, okay. It's not time to do the other yet. Okay, you can. You can trust Jesus for your salvation. The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10, 9, if you are trusting in Christ for your salvation, tell God by praying something like this. So this prayer is not what saves you. It is the belief in Jesus that he is God's one and only son that came to die for us. He gave his life for our redemption, for our salvation. Okay, so I'm going to say this prayer, and uh, you can repeat it after me if you would like. This chair is not super comfy. Okay. Dear God, thank you for loving me. I confess that I have sinned against you. I believe that your son Jesus died on a cross to pay for my sin and that you raised him from the dead. I trust Jesus alone to forgive me and take away all my sins. I confess that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Thank you for your gift of eternal life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Sounds 
sorry, I needed to sneeze <laughs> at the end of that. Remember, it is not the words of a prayer that save you. God saves you when you respond to, in faith to his grace. If you trusted in Christ today, Jesus promises you in John 10, 27, and 28. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I will give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. Oh, where's the rest of this? Hmm. Oh, there we are. <laughs> I go, I know there's more. I know there's more. There's these little emblems. There's these little emblems. Okay. Because you were saved by the precious blood of Christ, you should follow God and learn to please Him. Here are some of His requirements for you to grow spiritually. Okay, so there's the heart in the middle. Love God and all people. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind. This is the great and foremost commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew twenty-two thirty-six through 40. And so the next thing is um, the little praying man, which is really hard to. There's the little praying man. There's the little praying man. Pray to God constantly. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Okay, and then we have the Bible. Study the Bible, God's Word, daily. Start with the Gospel of John. Read one chapter each day. Like newborn babes, long for the pure milk of the Word, that by it you may grow in respect to salvation. 1 Peter 2, 2. And then you've got the little... The little fellowship hands. Meet regularly with other Christians, not forsaking your own assembling together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another. Tell other people about Jesus. And he, Jesus, said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Mark sixteen fifteen. So if you got saved, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. Your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and uh, the angels are rejoicing right now. And uh, kind of went over the things that, you know, just help you to grow. It's not necessary that you do those things, but it's going to help you to grow as a Christian. And it is going to keep you close to God and close to Jesus if you do those things, those little emblems. Okay. Well, it is time to bless you, give you God's blessing, and to pray. And my friend Josie is back. How are you doing, Josie, today? It was good to see you this morning. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. I need to go back to Numbers. Okay, in Numbers 6, 24 through 26, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Now I'm remembering to turn my music on right before I get done. That doesn't make any sense. I really wanted to listen to this song. Oh, there we go. Now it's playing. Like I said, I had to restart it. Okay. Well, um, Josie, do you have any prayer requests? I think that's Josie. It may not be. I have this tiny picture 
on Facebook. I mean, it's it's so tiny. It's like so tiny, and it's hard for me to tell who it is. I think I know who it is, but I don't know. So I am gonna go ahead and pray. I'm going to just let the Holy Spirit lead me in prayer. I don't want to sneeze again. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, but there's like mold out with all the rain and the sunshine. And uh, that's affected me today. I may have to take something tonight before I go to bed. Oh, I'm doing great, Josie. How are you doing? Uh, you have any prayer requests, Josie? Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and start praying. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to go take something. Or I'm just going to keep sneezing and I'm just going to feel worse and worse. I got to get some stuff done tomorrow. Okay. God, we just come to you and we just thank you, God, for reminding us to rest in you. That we don't have to worry. That we can have confidence in you. That we can trust you with all that we have. God, just help us to rest. Help us to not worry about the future, but just to let you work out all the details in our lives and know that you care for us very deeply and that you love us and that nothing can separate us from your love and God we just pray for um, just pray for Josie as she goes to work tomorrow and I pray for Austin as he finishes up a year of school God we just pray that you would bless them and protect them and provide for them. We pray for Josie and her sisters and their families and her brother and their families. God, we just pray for protection and provision and blessings. And we pray for her children, God, and um, their families. We pray for protection and blessings and um, provision, God. And we just pray... That if anyone in these families needs Jesus as their Savior, God, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so that they can be saved. God, we pray for um, Mr. Mike and the boys, God. We just pray that you would just give him the guidance and wisdom that he needs, God, to just share Jesus with these boys and just be... Be the father to them that they never had, God. We just pray that um, you would just bless them and protect them and provide for them too, God. And that as these boys finish school this year, God, that you would um, you would bless them with either jobs this summer or something, you know, something that you would like for them to do, that you would draw them close to you. I think a few of them are going to camp, God. We also pray for our kids that are going to camp. We pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to what you want to teach them, God, and that you would be with the leaders also. You would give us guidance and wisdom, God. We thank you for provision for camp, God. We're just nearly there, and we just thank you for that. We just pray, God, for... Uh, that you would help us to rest, that you would help us to be in your presence more, that you would help us to testify to the good things that you've done in our lives, God, and that you would help us to encourage others. God, we just pray that you would keep us safe and uh, just keep us close to Jesus all the time. Help us to walk in um, righteousness. Help us to walk in the Spirit. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pray for my family too, God. I pray for safety, especially for my daughter as she travels back from Dallas, God. Just be with her and help her to uh, 
stay alert and uh, tomorrow maybe she can rest in you God once she gets home and gets some sleep tonight I pray for my granddaughter as she flies to South Texas God for safety always I just pray that you would protect her while she's there and in Jesus name we pray Amen okay did I get everybody I'm sorry I sneezed and now I can't now I gotta go blow my nose okay well lovely ladies I see that gay gay uh, joined us for a few seconds I gotta get off of here um, have an awesome rest of your night and an awesome tomorrow much love Much love and cyber hugs till I see you again. I'll be here tomorrow. I'll be here Tuesday. Wednesday, I'll be at youth. Thursday, I'll be having training um, for Unbound North Texas. But I'll be back on Friday. So I'm sorry that I'm kind of hit and miss lately. But I just have some other things that are going on. Alright, God bless you all and good night.